this, um, this actually is a case of um, if I was going there, I shouldn't start from here. Um, basically, at uh, Synthes at UK, um, m pretty much on the off chance, I, I brought along a, a Raspberry Pi with Yoshimi sat on it, and uh, just to let people see, you know, the sort of range it could do. And I kept on getting inquiries, is this going to be a hardware module? Is this something which we can then just plug into our existing systems? Because we don't want to be bothering about doing any programming stuff or anything like that. And I thought, well, hang on, maybe this, this might actually be a possibility. So I, I went home, and rather than using um, um, Raspberry, Raspbian, um, I decided to go for the Debian uh, version, which uh, is even lighter than uh, Raspbian and light, and build up a purely headless uh, version of it, um, which you can actually run um, without any kind of monitor or anything whatsoever. You only need a keyboard if you can memorize the, the basic commands, because that's also working entirely through the command line interface, which is now fairly mature. Um, and it should take something like uh, 15 seconds from first powering up to actually being usable. So we'll actually try that and see what happens. Now, as soon as we have got um, HTMI here, we should be able to see it come up. There we are, Yoshimi is now up and running, and it should be immediately producing audio, which it apparently isn't. Right, I should be getting audio from it now if it's seeing the keyboard, which uh, it won't be because it's looking for a specific keyboard. Um, What I'll have to do is use this uh, horribly primitive keyboard because I don't have um, no, here now I'll do a restart. Sorry about this. This uh, keyboard actually does in fact present problems because it just uh, p produces just a little bit too much of a load on the 5 volt supply, which very slightly dips sometimes, and so it'll then uh, drop out f fractionally just enough to get uh, uh, missing notes or stuck notes. Right, we've got audio there basically. Right, that's now switched me to part mode, and I can now select instruments. Oops. Yeah. And you've got the full range of your shimmy there straight away on basically that. Um, and this is, as I say, it's proof of concept. It's not bug free at the moment. There are issues that if you unplug the audio while it's running, it goes into a loop and it can't get out of it without doing a hard reset. But these are things which I'm hoping to get sorted out. So basically, that's about all there is I can say about it at the moment.
Yep. Because I, I see that the MIDI keyboard was not recognized because it was different. There's something I can recommend to you, which is something that Mod had to do as well. Because we also want to support this kind of thing, that you plug a keyboard, it should work right away. So there is a tool we did, which is called the Mod MIDI Merger, which um, includes one output port, one jack MIDI output port, and one uh, jack MIDI input. And it registers a callback whenever there's like a port that appears. There is um, a hardware and a MIDI, and it automatically connects everything to it. So imagine in the middle, instead of connecting to all the hardware individually, you connect to this client, and this client then connects to every single MIDI device that is available. So this way, if you have it running, you only have to connect to this, and then all the MIDI devices will always work. Might be something. Thank you very much. Yes, that's something I'll, I probably will follow up on.